Hello friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel and in today's video due to a viewer's request I will share again my dual 1211 but here I'm gonna share how to adjust your tracking force of the dual 1211 so here let's get started before I will start guys just a reminder if you have detachable cover of your stylus needle remove it but if it is not detachable cover then leave it as is as you can see it has no anti-skating but I will share how to adjust anti-skating very simple guys anti-skating is tracking force equals anti-skating if your tracking force for example 1.5 set your anti-skating to 1.5 if it is 2 grams, set your anti-skating to number 2. That's all. So here it has no counterweight. But it has a spring. The tension of the spring acts like a counterweight. The tension of the spring will counter the head gel. So the spring here acts like a counterweight. And to adjust the spring tension, counterclockwise is to add tracking force. Clockwise is to lessen the tracking force. But actually, this part here, guys, is for adjusting the 180 degrees. The real fine tune for the tracking force is this one here. This is a knob with a number. This is where you set your tracking force. So before I will start adjusting the tracking force, guys, make sure you set this one to zero. There. Leave it zero until you get the 180 degrees. So here guys, to get the 180 degrees, make sure that your tone arm is parallel to the platter. So here, remove your tone arm from the armrest. There. And as you can see guys, it is heavy here and it is not parallel to the platter so I'm gonna turn this small knob here so I can adjust the weight of the head gel so I'm gonna turn this clockwise okay there as you can see it goes up then here check because if you turn this full as you can see guys the tone arm is not floating so make sure it is parallel to the platter and your tone arm is floating so I will turn this again counterclockwise okay there as you can see if I will tap this one here on the head shell part it floats but check the platter and the tone arm I think it is lower on this part here and higher on this part it must be like this 180 degrees there so I need to turn this clockwise to gain more height here there so there it must be parallel to the platter and here it is now level or parallel to the platter then 
back to the armrest then adjust now your tracking force here we set this to zero now I can set this to one gram 1.5 grams or 2 grams so I'm gonna set this to 1.5 and let's check this one to a digital and let's check the difference on a digital and on this manually adjusted tracking force and this is now the result guys we set this one to 1.5 now I have my digital weighing scale. Let's see the difference, guys. Here, it reads here 1.5 to be exact, or 1.51. So it has a difference of 0 0.01. So I'm gonna try to adjust this one to 2 grams. Here, let's see the difference. If we set to 2 grams, so it is 2 grams. Okay, so it has a difference 0 0.02. There. Yeah. So it really works, guys. My tip here, my hint make sure you get the proper 180 degrees. That's all I can say. It must be floating and settle back to 180 degrees parallel to the platter. Hope it helps guys and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.